as professionals as accounting professional legal professional finance professional all of us need to make use of the financial statements for the purpose of decision making for helping our clients and for helping our companies to take decisions of all kind how to make use of the financial statements how to make use of the balance sheet of the profit and loss statement and of the cash flow statement and that is what now we are going to discuss now friends please remember doesn't really matter as to what situation is whether you are trying to acquire a company whether you are trying to sell your company whether you are trying to go for capital capital expenditure whether you are going for an organic project or you are going for inorganic project whether you are merging or amalgamating doesn't really matter uh, whenever you have to take a decision you have to read <clears throat> the financials of a company and what aspects you have to take into account uh, for arriving at a decision about that company are very simple so basically there are seven aspects and what those seven aspects are those seven aspects are number one what you look at is the profitability and performance so any company in any situation that you want to take a decision सबसे पहले आपको क्या देखना होगा सबसे पहले आपको देखना होगा कि उस कंपनी की प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी कैसी है उस कंपनी की परफॉर्मेंस कैसी है एंड आई कैन टेल यू एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी फ्रेंड्स कैन बी लुक्ड एट फ्रॉम फोर डिफरेंट एंगल्स एंड दैट इज वॉट वी वॉन्ट डिस्कस फोर डिफरेंट एंगल्स देन वी लुक एट द लिक्विडिटी ऑफ अ कंपनी देन वी लुक एट द सॉल्वेंसी ऑफ अ कंपनी एंड देन नंबर फोर एट नंबर फोर वी लुक एट एफिशियंसी इन यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द एसेट दैट द कंपनी हैज एंड आई एम श्योर as professionals you can very very easily understand if a company has to do well any company doesn't really matter in india or outside india if a company has to do well what this company has to do in the first place this company has to do in the first place is to ensure optimum utilization of all its assets and that's your number 4 so whenever you are you want to read a company you want to take a decision about a company you will also need to find out as to how efficient or effective this company is in in utilizing the assets of this company <clears throat> number 5 you look at the effectiveness in working capital management please remember friends the research shows that all over the world all over the world whenever a company closes down the reason behind the closure of a company in 90% of the cases is the bad working capital management so whenever a company is facing the difficulty of working capital management or whenever a company is having bad working capital management you can assume that this company is surely and certainly going to close down sooner than later and uh, so whenever we have to take a decision whenever we have to read financial statements of a company for taking a decision we will also need to check as to the the point number 7 and that is how efficient this company is in working capital management at number 6 we look at financial leverage so what is the financial leverage it is very simple financial leverage simply means as to whether the company is running its operations or whether the company has come into existence on the strength of borrowed capital or it has come on the strength of owned capital and that would decide the financial leverage and financial leverage would mean a risk so the sixth thing that we need to analyze and understand about a company is the financial leverage and finally friends what we look at when we need to evaluate or when we need to find out or when we need to understand a company we need to look at the valuation रेशोज ऑब्वियसली प्लीज रिमेंबर नो रॉकेट साइंस जब भी कभी आपको किसी कंपनी के बारे में डिसीजन लेना है यू कैन वेरी इजिली इमेजिन इट अंडरस्टैंड इट दैट एनी डिसीजन दैट यू विल टेक अबाउट एनी कंपनी अबाउट एनी मैटर विल ऑलवेज इन्वॉल्व वैल्यूएशन बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली इज द वैल्यूएशन विच इज द ड्राइविंग फैक्टर फॉर एनी डिसीजन मेकिंग <clears throat> so friends these are the seven factors that we would look at uh, that we would look at in reading the financial statements of any company at any point in time now friends what i also intend to do from time to time uh, whenever i cover a topic with you i will after covering that topic i will give you a break of a minute or two so when i say break it does not mean that you can go out and do whatever you want to do 
I would give you a break for ask for all of you to ask your questions. And uh, depending on uh, the situation, we can decide, you know, as to how many questions we can take. One or two questions we can certainly take. So having understood that these seven aspects is what we need to understand for reading the financial statements of any company. If you have any question on this, please, uh, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. Else we go to the next topic.